Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'll be reviewing Harper by Brene of Paris from the Alexander Couture collection. This is a brand new style and the color is also brand new. This is Smoke Ivory. I'd like to thank Wig Studio One for providing Harper for me to review for all of you. I did the unboxing for the Wig Studio One YouTube channel. When that video is out, I will leave it linked down below for you in the description box if you want to see how it looks right out of the box. This is right out of the box. I just recorded the unboxing and now I'm recording this one from you. I have to tell you the piece is absolutely gorgeous. We have no permatease at all. The density, I would say it's a little bit higher than average. We do have a very long piece here and it weighs five and three quarter ounces, but it feels very light. And it's probably because of the lack of permities. We have a center part and we have a lace front. I'll be showing you the cap in just a moment. The color smoke ivory. I was so excited that I was sent this color brand new to Renee of Paris. There is no color code, but I will, I do have the description from Renee of Paris. It is a unique platinum blend with mid cool beige brown root. Totally agree with that. And it's softly blended into the white platinum and the smoke ivory strands. It just transitions to the white tips absolutely stunning color if you love grays this is right up my alley because i'm a 70s girl so i love these long straight pieces i don't care how old i am i was pleasantly surprised that we don't have high density right here at the front which i have found on some of the renee of paris this one doesn't have it i think the center part is done nicely the same with the lace front, very, very nicely done. And while we do have some dark knotting, we also have some platinum and some of the ivory running through. Not a lot. We don't have a band, but I feel the lace front is done beautifully. I didn't apply any makeup or concealer or anything to it so you could get a, a good view of it. There's good coverage. Here is the ear tab and my hairline. Here is the ear tab and my hairline. My circumference is 21 and a half inches. Usually Renee of Paris fits me right out of the box. This one I had to cinch it in just a little bit, but I'm not wearing a wig grip. If I were wearing a wig grip, I would have to let it out. I'm back out. I think that it runs a true average. If you have a 21 and a half like I do, or 21 and three quarters, I think even up to a 22 inch, and I think that you'll be fine. However, you know, I've got, I don't have a way of gauging that. I'm just giving you my thoughts. I just took it out of the box. So there, there are still some, there's still a little bit of shedding, and that's only due to the fibers that just didn't get attached during ma uh, during the manufacturing process. So I'm just combing it through with a wide tooth comb just to eliminate those uh, fibers that are that aren't that weren't attached during the the process. I'm going to add a little bit of hairspray. Just it's not really a face flopper. That was something else that I was pleasantly surprised to see. We have that it, it just didn't flop. And all I did was add a little bit of hairspray. I used the hairspray from Hair You Wear. And it does a good job just staying off the face. If you love long, straight hair, if you uh, love a center part, this can't be moved around. I think that you would love Harper. It is absolutely beautiful. And this color, if you love grays, it's stunning. There is some dimension due to the ivory. We have that smoked ivory, we have platinum, we have white and the white tips. Let's do a little bit of color comparison. This is Silver Blonde Rooted by Ellen Villa and I'm showing it to you on the 
on a spree. So with Silver Blonde Rooted, we have a little bit more of that ivory or that sand and less of the platinum. So you, you have a more neutral color versus a very cool color as we find in Smoked Ivory. With Silver Blonde Rooted, it's a little bit more neutral because we have that sand color. This is Jameson by Aesthetica in the color Chrome RT1B. Our roots are going to be much darker on Chrome RT1B than we find on Smoked Ivory. And there is more of the darker fibers coming through on Chrome RT1B. There's more of an even blend here. So if you wear Chrome RT1B and you just want to go a little bit lighter or you want a lighter root, I think that Smoked Ivory is perfect. This is Jones by Aesthetica in the color Silver Sun RT8. With Silver Sun RT8, our root is a little bit closer. Silver Sun RT8 still has a little bit more of that creamy blonde color than we find on Smoked Ivory. Smoked Ivory, definitely the white and the platinum will be coming out. This is Veda in Illumina R. This is by Amor. Now with Veda, we do have the, the actual uh, color of the wig is very, very close to what we find on, on Smoke Ivory because we have basically a silver here. The Smoke Ivory that we have on Smoke Ivory is very, very subtle and we don't have any on Illumina R. However, the root on Illumina R is much darker. But as far as the actual color, I think it's the closest one. If you're looking for a root that is a little bit lighter than what we find on Illumina R, I think that the Smoke Ivory is just perfect because, because this is a medium cool beige brown root. It's not a stark root. On Harper, we have, this is a very sleek, long style, very straight. We have a fringe of 15.35 inches. We have a crown of 17.72 inches. The nape is 11.8 inches and the weight is 5.75 inches. I don't think we could really tuck it but we could leave a few strands out. I love when they add those fibers to the ear tabs. I think it's just perfect. And wear with a headband. Wear it half up, half down. Just clipped off the face. I think that's perfect. All right, and a side ponytail. So if you love a long, sleek, straight style, this is definitely for you something without any permatease whatsoever, and a little bit higher than average density. All right, let's take a walk outside so you could see Smoke Ivory out in the daylight, and then I'll show you the cap and I'll come back.
lace front, all one piece with the center part, felt covered ear tabs with the strands coming down. I cinched it in just a little bit to accommodate my 21 and a half inch circumference. We have an extended nape and we have full type adjusters. I think it runs true average. There isn't much stretch here, but I think that if you have up to a 22 inch, I think that you'll be fine as long as your other measurements are average as well. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. I hope that everyone is having a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye.